All right, now listen to this. I think we are in a once in a lifetime financial transition. And I think that everybody needs to sort of strap in for that. And if you need your money in the next couple of years, I would be more cautious than not. Be very, very afraid of those who are sound asleep at this moment, because when they wake up, they're going to wonder what happened. Silver Joker here. Okay, so this is where we are. And by the way, <laughs> Robert Kurosaki seemed to be just a little bit too happy about that hypothetical scenario. <laughs> but anyway, just kidding. Uh, Robert Kurosaki is the best. I've learned so much from following his YouTube channel, listening to his blogs and his podcasts, and also from his book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, which if you haven't read, I highly recommend you read that, especially if you you know, thinking about your financial health. But anyway, this is where we are. And you guys know, if you follow my channel, you know that I'm not into the doom and gloom, the apocalyptic type talk, but there is absolutely an urgency in the air. You can feel it. I mean, just like the, the beginning of this video, what the two speakers there were talking about, that is there. It's happening. It's obvious. And so there is that urgency to protect your finances in a way that is different than the way we've been doing it. And a lot of people are buying physical metals. I mean, my local coin stores here, they have silver, but it's sparse. It's nowhere near the amounts that they used to carry or the variety. <laughs> yeah, demand is uh, definitely outstripping supply right now. Yeah, I see that. In our world. So and what do, what do you think what do you think that is, um, Clay? I, I think it's the uh, just the jitters in the traditional banking sector, I think. It's been a long yeah. time since uh, any of us had to worry about those type of things. And I think it's just making people think twice about what's money and what isn't. Physical silver is being moved off of the shelves like crazy. People are buying it because they're nervous about their financial health. They want something that is outside of their traditional financial products, so to speak. And so that's where we are. I mean, that's just where we are right now. So how is physical silver going to help us in these situations? How can buying physical silver help us feel a little better about our financial direction, where we're going in the future? And so first, and this is very important, physical silver is liquid, and that's what you need. Okay, so just to bring you guys up to date, <laughs> uh, we were having a really nice conversation, and then walks say, a customer and she sold and this is 300 There's three, three. she sold 300 of her eagles now we were just talking about talking about the whole you know economy kind yes. of thing and then wanting to kind of use your silver to kind of you know help you out financially especially in these times and here's a perfect example but this is um fortunate for us because we were running a little low on silver yeah right. so how long do you estimate you'll have this. There's a good chance we'll be out of it tomorrow. Wow. Yeah. You need something that you could turn into the things you need very quickly in times of urgency. And physical silver absolutely provides that. There's always going to be someone who will give you what you need for your physical silver. There's no doubt about that. Secondly, it's highly private, especially during these times right here. It is highly private. It can be stored, moved, and sold completely anonymously. And because it's in your physical possession, there's no ID required. And think about this. Because there's no ID required, because it's anonymous, no passwords or anything like that, it can't be hacked into. It's not on a ledger somewhere. It is in your physical possession. Now that, to me, is very important, especially during these times. And if you think about it, right now, physical silver is defense against both the slow devaluation or even the overnight devaluation of currencies, of 
fiat currencies. And if that should happen, your physical silver would still have value. And I would argue it would have even greater value because of the devaluation of our currency. Yeah, it typically holds its value. There. I mean, it, it increases with the inflationary uh, indexes in terms of its value um, seems to go up as inflation goes up, which means your dollars become weaker. And so it takes more U.S. dollars or any dollar, any country's dollar to buy the silver. So it kind of keeps pace with inflation. And a lot of people are just looking for that. And finally, I want to show you something. I want to show you where silver's value is important and how silver can be a hedge against the effects of future inflation. Now, many of you have probably seen this before, but if you haven't, watch this. All right, so this is what we mean by a hedge against the effects of future inflation. Okay, so a lot of what I'm going to share with you can be easily be fact-checked. I'm going to deal with a lot of numbers, and you know numbers don't lie. So this comes from the Bureau of Labor Statistics. It says what it co what cost you $100 in the year 2000 would cost you $125.26 today. That's a loss of $25.26. So that $100, if you would just sock that $100 away in the year 2000, you'd have $74.74. Now, if you'd taken that same $100 bill and bought physical silver, and I went back and looked at what the price of silver was in the year 2000. Now, keep in mind, I know I'm going to get the comments. Just for the sake of argument, I'm going to use spot price for this example. All right? So if you, went, if I, if you took that same $100 bill in the year 2000 and bought silver, you could have bought 19 ounces of silver, generic silver rounds, with that $100 bill. All right, fast forward to today. You would have... With that $100 bill that you socked away in the year 2000, you would have $74.74. That's according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics. If you, take, if you take that 19 ounces that you bought in the year 2000 and sell those today at spot price, now is worth $476.33. Now that's undeniable. Go check that for yourself. Now I know there's a lot of things that happened between the year 2000 and 2023. If you had held on to that silver, that hundred dollars of silver would give you four hundred and seventy-six dollars and thirty-three cents today. So that's what we mean by the value of silver offsetting future inflation. So yeah, if you're buying physical silver right now, you are doing the right thing. Silver is the most affordable precious metals that you can get. It's the most economical. And if you're stocking physical silver now to protect your financial health then you're doing the right thing as far as I'm concerned. Look, you have to do what you have to do. You have to decide for yourself what is the best course of action for you and your finances going forward. I mean, if you're still on the fence at this point, trying to decide whether or not you need to do something different as far as buying precious metals or not, I think you need to understand that things are changing. The way we look at money is changing. These things are changing. These things are occurring. This is going on. And what you need to do is decide where you want to stand on your financial health. Do you want to continue to leave that in the hands of this fiat currency? Or do you want to take a proactive approach to your own personal finances by doing something you can do for yourself? So really, those are the real questions as far as I'm concerned. So I'm going to see Clay down at Main Street Coin next. We're going to talk about this whole supply and demand issue. He's told me that demand is stripping, outstripping by far demand down in his stores. So we'll go talk to him, maybe buy some silver and just get an idea of, you know, just where people are right now as far as buying physical metals. Anyway, I appreciate you guys stopping by. Keep stacking. Peace.